guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I just wanna get straight to it. For today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do this luxurious makeup look. I really like the look, except for the lips. You guys will see my dilemma towards the end of the video. I still don't know how I feel about it, but you know what? You'll see it, you'll see it. Let me know if you like it. Also, thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe and like. Thank you. But if you want to learn how to do this gorgeous, gorgeous makeup look, keep on watching. I'll wait for you. Okay, you guys. So, honestly, today I'm not really sure what I want to do. I'm just going to go in with my L'Oreal foundation. Go ham on it. I really want to do like a cute little glam vibe. Um, you guys already know the vibe. Just tap that V in. Okay, so now that I'm done blending that in, I think I'm gonna go in with my Elf <sighs> concealer. I've been really like liking this concealer more than any of my other concealers actually. Uh, I'm a ride or die for the Too Faced concealer. Well, I've mentioned before that I really, really, really love this concealer, but lately the ColourPop has really like outdid themselves, really. Um, if you're like trying to ball on a budget, the Elf concealer, I definitely recommend it. It's like six bucks. So Ulta, Target, you know the vibe. Oh my god. Okay, honestly, that concealer like really made the difference here because I was looking like an Oompa Loompa. Okay, my skin looks cute. She's even. She's gorgeous. Okay, so now, oh my gosh, you guys are gonna die because like I bought this Jaclyn Hill highlighter a while ago almost gonna be a year and i wasn't obsessed with it i just wasn't living for it wasn't into it just wasn't doing it for me but then i was playing with it and i figured out a way that it would work for me and it honestly is amazing one of my favorite products i honestly like use this every day now um what i like to do i grab my air sponge so just like normal powder and i mix these together pretty crazy i know i'm living on the edge but this is just like amazing it's honestly amazing i love it love her let me know um i'm just gonna grab a brush like this like i just mix that bee in and i'm gonna tap it on my under eye i will say this powder is a little bit expensive it's like 30 something but it has a lot of product in it like this whole thing is just filled with it and you don't really use a lot of it so it will last you a long long time and as i mentioned i definitely recommend it like mixing it with powders or even on its own i'm going to show you guys at the end it's beautiful and then with my beauty blender i'm going to take a little bit of powder not really that much and just kind of tap it in a little bit more so it does increase Throughout the day, it's just going to wear so beautiful because since it has a little sheen, 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 a little sheen of like highlight, your skin's just going to have a natural, like beautiful glow. Right now, it's not peaking as much, but throughout the day, it will, believe me. Just, just trust me on that one. Okay, but now I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. I'm going to do that off camera, I think. I don't know why people do that, I guess, just to save time. <laughs> If you guys want like a more in-depth, 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 in-depth video on how I do my eyebrows, let me know. I'm not the best at it. I'm trying to figure out what I like and what looks good on my face, but. I'll be right back. Wait. <laughs> I'm gonna pop some. 
in. I'm gonna pop some bronzer on my forehead. Oh yes, I'm just like, yeah, go to the beach. Okay, beautiful. I don't really do this, but like, I just watched Jaclyn Hill's video. And she really made an emphasis on like doing this part. So I'm just gonna see if it really makes that big, <laughs> that big of a difference. If it doesn't, you'll see. I usually don't do this. Yeah, yeah, you should start. Uh, okay, beautiful. Now we're gonna move on to nose contour which i'm really scared about honestly i'm not a professional on nose contour it's just i like so you know i'm just gonna go on the bridge of my nose i'm not exactly sure if this is the right way to contour obviously like i don't know i'm not professional i'm not a professional there we go and then i like taking this little thing that i have it's so dirty i need to wash it i know it is clean i swear but I love this little thing because it's so tiny and it just fits perfect in there. Perfectly in there. There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Me saying it fits perfectly in there, but like not working. Um. Yeah, you see, it just kind of cleans this up. Super cute. We'll contour my big ass nose. Yay, cute. Okay. I'm going to use this blush that comes on this palette. This is called number one. Okay. Oh, it's cute. It's actually really pretty. I didn't think it was going to show up on my skin tone, but it does. I'm just a little bit on the nose. Cute. Oh my god, I'm kind of crazy right now. It's fine. <sighs> okay, and <laughs> okay, now what I'm gonna do, I think I'm just gonna do a really na really natural look. Um, I think I'm gonna go in with this Carly Bible. Is that her last name? Whatever. This is like an OG palette. Like I've had this since does it say here what year? When did this palette come out? That's when I got it, when it came out. I love this palette so much. Everything about it is perfect. That's all I gotta say, it's perfect. Um, okay, so I'm gonna grab, which color do I wanna grab? I think I'm actually gonna use two palettes. This one and this Naked palette. I love this palette so much, it's so beautiful. It's like all these mauve colors, pinkish. Really gorgeous. Okay, actually I might not use this. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I'll let you guys know what I use. Um, okay, but first we're gonna go into the color. It doesn't have a name, okay. Into this color, wait. Yeah, we're gonna go into this little like mauve, mauve color. We're just gonna put that on our crease. We're just gonna blend that out. I love working with purples. I think they're really, really beautiful. Um, I wish I would use them more, but whatever. It's fine, it's fine. We're just gonna blend that on our crease. Also, I realized that I don't really talk much about like techniques. Um, I'm trying to get a little bit better at that, you guys. Bear with me. Um, so I'm gonna try to explain a little bit what I'm doing. Um, I basically tap it first where I'm going, where I want the product to go. And from there, I just start going in circular motions. Um, I feel like the fluffier the brush, the better. It just fluffs it out, you know? Um, 
So I just go in circular motions. I know I remember people would say like, oh, in windshield motions. I guess, yeah, but I feel like in circular windshield motions. I feel like that's the way to go. Just really fluff it out. It's really hard sometimes to like get it diffused. <laughs> um, that's why you want to work with like good eyeshadows because some just blend beautifully. Okay, so I think that's all I'm gonna do with that color. Um, I just like how soft and like natural it looks. It's just like a little pop of brown. And I'm gonna go in with a less fluffier brush. It's a little bit more dense. It's not as fluffy. And you can kind of see there. Really competitive. <laughs> you know. Um, this is by Firma. I got it in my Ipsy bag. I really like Ipsy. I try new products that I would never try. Um, but this is by the brand Firma in 403. The, the number 403? I don't know. I just started using it. I can't say much about it. Uh, but now I'm going to go in with a more like purple color. Um, I'm going to tap that B. Does this have a lot of fallout actually? Once again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to tap it where I want it. And this one, since this brush is a little bit more like flimsy, I just, this, I actually go in windshield motions and that will do the trick. Mostly since I had already applied a previous color before that, it will just blend out really, really nice. There we go. Once again, I'm basically going to stab it where I want it, which is gonna be in my outer corner. And just bringing it in a little bit, like halfway through my, through my eye. I'm not sure yet if this is going to be like my darkest color or not, but for now, let's pretend that it is. I'm going to go back because I feel like the diffused part of it kind of went away. The blended out part of it went away. Now I'm just going to take a little bit more of that lighter brown and blend it out again i'm gonna go now with this purple just a little bit just to add more dimension into it i feel like it's not that dark so yeah you see it's fine this purple is not that pigmented so it's fine <laughs> um i do want to keep like kind of like a softer Purple. I feel like if you go too dark with purple, it can look really smoky, which I do want that a little bit, but I don't want a full smoky eye. I love when girls wear like smoky eyes like in the day. I think it looks so sexy, but personally for me, I think I like it more for the night. Yeah. Now we're going to go back with those same colors and diffuse it. Diffuse is the right word. Blend it out. In my lower lash line. I hate putting powders in my lower lash line because it always gets in my eye. And like my contact is not happy about it. Um, I'm trying to kind of like blow it out a little bit. If you will. If you want a little bit of a darker vibe, you want more of that smokiness, um, I'd say probably go with that dark purple and just pack it on. That way you can have a really smoky blowout vibe. But I'm going for a little bit more Isca Natural. Um, now what I'm gonna do though is Guys, I always lose my brushes. I basically took the cherry palette and I went with that color. Oh my gosh, I'm a disaster. I went with the color Hot Spot. It's basically just, um, let me show you. It's this color right here, Hot Spot. It's just like a whitish pinkish. It has a pink undertone underneath. And what I'm doing 
since I'm not being like very precise, I'm just semi forming, cutting my crease in a way. This is super messy. I know. I'm sorry. I feel like this one turned out like kind of like botchy. It sucks, but whatever. And then since the white went kind of like too much out there, I'm going to go back to the same colors that I first used and diffuse it, blend it out. Why do I keep saying diffuse? I don't know. But I'm going to go in that inner corner, going in with that super dark purple, if you guys remember, and packing the beyond. So that's that. Now we're going to go in and take our bake off. Okay, I don't know if I like that, but you know what? It looks good on Jaclyn Hill. Maybe we just didn't do it correctly. I'm going to go back in there and kind of blend it out. I think I like it more blended than that like line. And I'm gonna dust off some of the powder that fell off. Oh, and my nose contour, I forgot about that. Okay. There's how the eyes turned out. I don't know how I feel about it, but you know what? The lashes will save it, the lashes will save it, the lashes will save it. Hey you guys, so I just went ahead and popped on so it popped on some pretty like wispy, not wispy, is that the right word? Yeah, wispy lashes. I think they look so beautiful. They're super long, but they're just super like dainty. So I'm cutesy. <laughs> uh, oh Jesus, the wrong one. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna just put that in my eye. A little trick that I really, really like is putting eyeliner in the inner corner. Sort of to blend in that lash. You guys see the difference here? I don't have eyeliner here. I added eyeliner. And it just looks like it flows better. Unfortunately, you guys, I don't know what lashes these are because I'm disgusting and I just grabbed them from my little plate of lashes. Judge me, judge me, don't care. Uh, did I get the blush? Yeah, should I just add a little bit more? Maybe. No, uh, do I need it? No, I don't. I don't. I don't need it. I don't need it. Okay, so we're down to our almost last stop. We're gonna grab our Jaclyn Hill powder. I like using a fluffy brush. Just like using a fluffy brush. I don't know what brand this is. Uh, I don't know. Who cares? It's just a good brush. And I like putting it on the apples of my cheeks and kind of bringing it up. I noticed that Jaclyn Hill's, um, like her, her apples, I don't know, like, is this? <laughs> They're always super glowy, so I'm assuming she puts highlighter there, I don't know. Has she ever made a video, a video about that? I don't know, but I just think it makes you look super, like, youthful and just great, like, great, just great is the right word. Um, you guys see how like natural it looks and it just looks like it's a glow from within, which I really, really like. Um, let me clean my nasty lips. Okay, I cleaned my lips. Now I'm just going to add some mascara to my bottom eyelashes. Also, don't buy this mascara. I hate it. This is so flimsy. Like, Why? I'm gonna go with the NYX lip liner in the color Nutmeg. Uh, but thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys liked it. I hate the lip. I stand by that. I hate the lip. Let's take it off. Maybe we'll like it. This is cute. Okay. You see just a little lip gloss, a little leftover eye li lip liner. That does it. Oh my gosh, I love this. So cute. This is a look. This is a look. So, thank you so much for watching.
Okay, you guys, I'm so happy that like now, I, oh my God, my hair looks disgusting like that. I'm so happy that I finally found something that I like. This lipstick looks amazing. Lip gloss, whatever the frick it's called. So if you're looking for a good lip gloss, New York and Company, period. Thank you so much for watching though. I'm so sorry I'm ranting. Uh, I'm just rambling on and on. But thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. And make sure to like and subscribe. I love you. Let me know what you want me to film because I'm running out of ideas and I'm only like on my fifth video, so. Peace. I love you. <laughs>